my channel so today I did a tutorial for you guys of the look that I have on right now the main reason why I wanted to film a tutorial was because of the lip combination I have on my lips right now it is ColourPop's liquid lipstick in the shade trap which just looks like this very cool tone gray paired up with NYX's lip liner in the shade never which is swatched right here so together, this is what it looks like on the lips, and i just been really obsessed with it. I think it's very fall-friendly. If you're not into the whole really dark vampy looks, which I am, but not everybody is, so I feel like this is another alternative that you could use on your lips for this fall season. And I kind of just wanted to make the eyes a little bit more on the purple side and a little bit more cool tone. So if you guys are curious to know how I got this look, Go ahead and keep watching this video. I also wanted to ask for you guys' help by clicking on the link down below on the GoFundMe um, link. It is my friend Tyler who I went to go visit this past last month um, who was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Over the past couple months, he has been blessed with a lot of support and love to him and as well as his family from family friends and as well as strangers so we are trying to raise some money and all the money that's been donated in that link down below it'll be donated to the national foundation for cancer research and i do ask if you guys could maybe donate a little bit something um we're not asking for a lot but every little bit counts maybe what we do end up accumulating for the next couple weeks and months it may not be a lot but maybe in the future it'll help find the cure for cancer so i think it's really really nice of him to be doing this um to give back to the community and stuff like that so if i would really appreciate if you guys went ahead and checked out that link down below if you guys were able to donate a little bit of something as well as go ahead and check out his facebook page and like it and show some support over there and even just your prayers for him and the family is all i ask for as well um i do continue to pray for him for good health and to give him strength during this tough time and yeah if you guys have any more questions about that all the information will be linked down below as well as his links and stuff like that so i hope you guys kind of help a little bit there but yeah if you guys want to know how to get this look go ahead and keep on watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one Alrighty, so we're going to go take the Beach Cosmetics Day and Night palette, taking those two taupey shades in the palette and popping that into our crease as a transition shade. This is just so that our eyeshadows that we're going to be using is going to be nice and blended. Taking the Naked 3 palette and the shade Nooner, which is very similar to the colors I just showed you, but it's a little bit more darker and a little bit more, I want to say like a brown cool tone. And popping that into our crease, really building up the color because I wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant in a way and more smoky on my eyes. Since we're not going to be using any black eyeshadow for this look, I really wanted to smoke out the crease area without it being too much. Then I'm going to take the Naked Basics palette in the shade of Foxy, which is a matte yellow eyeshadow. And um, the eyeshadow look for this is going to be all matte, no shimmer at all. With my fingertips, I'm going to go ahead and apply that same color on my lids. I really enjoy using my fingertips when applying lid color because it has more pigmentation. And the colors just show a lot better on the eyes. Then with the same blending brush we used earlier, just blend out the harsh edges and just so it looks nice and blended obviously i'm going to go back into that beach cosmetics palette and take that matte dark purple eyeshadow and we're going to go with a stiffer blending brush finding our crease and just popping that in there kind of being a little bit more precise with this color and just really building up the intensity and the color um and you can go ahead and apply more shadows if you want I'm not going to be doing liquid eyeliner because I wanted it to be a little bit more softer. So I'm taking a coal eyeliner from Jordana and lining my lash line. Not too perfect because I am going to go ahead and smudge this out with a brush you'll see right here. And this one is just so my eyes are defined and um, adds a little bit more shape to it. Then I did go ahead and pop some lashes. This is the Kiss Ritzy Lashes, my favorite, because they're a little bit more wispy and um, full with volume. And taking the dark sh um, brown shades in that basic palette, 
and just popping that into my lower lash line. Not really making it too smoky because I'm not a fan of drop shadow on my lash line, my lower lash line actually. And then I'm going to go ahead and align my eyes with the black eyeliner just to get it, give it a more dark look and close out my eyes. Taking a, I want to say cool tone shimmer blush. This one, this one is actually from Australia, so um, I'm not too sure of the name of it, but I used it before in my videos. Apply that lightly to my cheeks because we do have a very heavy eye. And then I'm going to take the NYC Sunny Bronzer and just bronze up my face. I did apply my foundation and concealer prior before filming because it will save some time. Um, the foundation I use is the Sephora 24 hour oil control one I believe. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and chop off my double chin that I have and just give my face a little bit more color and shape to it. Taking the BH Forever Nude Palette and the Contour Shade, I'm going to go ahead and use a e.l.f. blush brush and just contour my cheeks so I don't look as chubby. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose lightly. I only do this when I have a full face of makeup on with lashes because I feel it really ties in the look together and just looks better when I do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my nose lightly not anything too serious give myself a bridge and then with the yellow shade in this palette I'm gonna pop that on my nose as a highlight to bring it a little bit forward right here then taking a highlighter shade from Chi Chi I'm not too sure of the shade but it is from Australia again with a stippling brush just apply lightly to my cheeks because the blush I used already had some shimmer. Taking NYX Lip Liner in the shade Never. Obsessed with this color. I think it's perfect for fall, you guys. If you guys are into that cool tone, taupey kind of color. And it's a little bit more darker than um, I expected it to be, I guess. But I'm going to go ahead and use ColourPop's Trap liquid lipstick which is another favorite of mine apply that to my lips and fill them in um it did wash out my lips a little bit more than i wanted it to so i'm going to go ahead and line and fill my lips again with the lip liner and that's basically it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below also check out the links in the description box and i'll see you in my next one bye